you know, it's a concept I don't think a lot of people have heard of. Look, I'm standing in the middle of the ocean. So if anybody comes like and bugs me, like like that should be a good like area of like not nobody should come right here. If they come right here, you know they're just trying to bug me, man. In my last video I was totally explaining something. Some lady just like was wandering in my direction. I'm like, dude, chill out. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't stop. She just kept coming. I had to I had to go on the offense. I had to like actively like wake her up from her like, you know, her her sleepwalking, you know. She was like, oh, she didn't even she just oh, it was a person, huh? They're just wandering in my direction, man. How to do it. But anyway, a concept I don't think a lot of people get, something I've identified, it's uh has to do with what they call the uh, uh, disruptors and the disrupted and any you know in business kinda. Um You know, that exists. There's disruptors of certain markets, and then there's the disrupted, right? And what it happens, and this has to do with what I call the money game, this happens all the time. There's there's constantly uh, you know, things that go obsolete when new technology comes out, for instance, and the user base transfers from old stuff to new stuff. And with that, you know, value transfers. And so if you're an investor, value is going to transfer from the old technology to the new technology as the user base does. And, uh, and that's constantly happening in business. It's just a transfer, you know, um, it's just really what is what it is. I guess there's a supply and demand and, you know, that's limited with how many people there are, how many people need anything. And, you know, people aren't going to buy like multiple, I don't know, houses if they just need one house to live in. Now, some people might buy multiple houses. They have enough money, but there's, only, there's a limited supply of, or demand for certain goods and services. So there's going to be competition. And with that competition, you know, on the supply side, there's going to be um, winners and losers and sometimes the winner is somebody that comes out of nowhere and there's a transfer from from the old winner and to, over to the new winner and it's, it's kind of the same thing in society for instance like let's say in basketball I love basketball <laughs> I always use the basketball analogies but let's say you're like Michael Jordan you know you're in your prime for a while you're the man you're the number one dude and then Kobe Bryant comes into the league all of a sudden you got a challenge and it's like ooh. And you you know you're kind of on your way out because you know you're you're not in your prime no more. Your body's getting old, you know whatever. And Kobe Bryant's coming up, you know, and he, he's starting to kick some butt. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a transfer. Is is what's gonna happen? You know, I mean that's with humans physically. You know, we only last so long, so so I mean that's just gonna happen. But with business, you know, to be honest, you know businesses can strategically stay on top. You know they can adapt and grow and evolve, you know? And they can be the disruptor, you know? They can not only keep the market they have, but they can take over other markets by coming out with some new technology, you know? If they really want to, if they're really competent in that way. But my point is, with the disruptors and the disrupted, there's wealth transfer that occurs. There is a user base that moves. You call it a user base, but there's a supply and demand. There's a demand that moves from one place to another, okay? and a user base in some cases and with that shift of popularity goes a shift in value and with that shift in value you can make money if you know where it's going if you see that happening wherever it happens the the simple you know concept of the disruptor and disrupted can be looked at with these like shifts it's like the 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 user base is being siphoned off from one place and going to another it's like there, it's like a migration of a herd you know what i mean you can see it happening you know, it's like, let's say there's like a like a herd of buffalo and they're grazing on some grass right here. The grass is almost depleted. So they go over to the next place where the grass is greener. You know, they go right over there and they're having a gay old time. You know what I mean? That's what happens. You know, people go, the herd goes to wherever the grass is greenest. You know what I mean? That, that That's a free market function with competition. People go where the best deal is, the best product, service, whatever, for the best price. If it's the best, it's the best. And sometimes it just has to do with popularity. You know, brand recognition, you know, uh, marketing, you know, uh, one way or another, if 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 people decide to like, you know, migrate to some brand for whatever reason, then that's what it is. And that migrate with that migration comes increased valuations. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and with that can come profit if you're if you're smart, if you're an investor like that. 
And that goes into what I call the money game. And that's constantly happening with everything, even money. Money itself, you know, gets inflated to oblivion, gets devalued, and then new money comes out and people migrate to that. The user base fall, drops off of that one and all gets siphoned off by something new. And it's all going to change the valuation. And if you can be up ahead of that, you can totally profit off of that like crazy. And uh, but that, that's just something I think people need to see. That's what I call the money game is constantly being ahead of that, taking advantage of it, you know, to make, you know, I guess to uh, compound your gains you know you're gonna make you're gonna you're gonna make some profit off of this one by being ahead you take that profit you know be ahead again and again and again and you can comp compound that for real um but that's really what's happening in the, in the economy and that that's like just like at such a raw basic level like such a fundamental level that's what's happening and just to be able to see that i think helps people you know gain an advantage but but here's the thing the more people see that and try to take advantage of it the more they're going to be putting money here or there I feel like it's kind of like a self-fulfilling thing. The more people, you know, think something's going to blow up, the more they throw their money into it, the more they throw their money into it, the more they actually cause it to grow in valuation. And then, you know, that growth in valuation is kind of self, like a self-fulfilling prophecy type thing. And, and it's going to, I feel like it might cause a lot of turbulence the more people that are chasing like that. But it's still kind of what you got to do in this economy because, you know, if you don't, if you're, if you're left holding a bag, for instance, you're, you're holding on to like, let's say, let's see. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say United States dollar. When it's devaluing rapidly, something else comes out that everybody's migrating toward. The value of the dollar is decreasing rapidly. And you're just holding on to it like a dummy. You just lost. You could you could have worked your whole life, you know, trading your 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 life and labor for those dollars that all of a sudden, like in a matter of, I don't know, days, weeks, months. You know, it's not worthless. You just traded your whole life for worthless paper. If you're not playing that game properly, if you're not putting your stack where it's going to grow instead of shrink. You know, if you leave your stack in a depreciating asset where it's going to shrink, you're, you're losing the money game. That's really what it comes down to. So, you know, it's just uh, it's that same concept of disruptors and disrupted just at a very fundamental level, seeing the herd migrate, you know. And uh, that's relevant, super relevant. Um, it's just a very fundamental function. You can just see it happening. And like I said, the more people that see it, the more people that chase, the more people that are playing the money game. And really, at the end of the day, everybody should be playing this game. It's going to cause a lot of turbulence, man. It's going to cause it. And that's just how the economy works, though. And, you, and I understand this fundamentally. I've already looked for a solution. Like, how can we, like, create something that is stable for people where they don't have to, like, constantly move their assets here or there? It's like... You kind of can't, you know, the valuation of things always change. You could be holding on to anything, a house or something, and it's it's value can drop if you're not paying attention. It's that old saying, like, you know, put all your eggs in one basket and, you know, keep a very close eye on them. Because truth be told, um, valuations can drop, you know, and you just have to pay attention. You have to be mindful of what you're holding on to. Is it appreciating or depreciating? And, and really... If you're going to go ahead and, and, you know, play that game at all just to make sure you're not holding on to depreciating assets, you might as well play it good and be ahead of the curve and move where people are going to migrate ahead of time and, you know, just excel at the game instead of just like, you know, just surviving. You know, if you're going to play the game anyway, try to excel. You might as well be ahead of the curve. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and that's just, ooh, I just got a big splash of cold water. <laughs> like, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. And, uh, um... I don't know. I just, you know, it's just a concept that I understand and I figured I'd throw it out there. Pretty simple concept, really. It's the same disruptors and disrupted, except you're seeing the migratory process of the user base and supply, the supply and demand function of that. And, and the changes in the valuation that occur with that migration process, which you can, you know, take advantage of. And, and, that, and, that, and, and taking advantage of that really is is what I call playing the, the money game functionally, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess some people might just say, you know, making gains, you know what I'm saying? Gains, bro. <laughs> same thing, bro, same thing. Make gains, bro, same thing. But but basically, if you can see that fundamental function, you can make gains a lot better. You can play the money game quite well. And uh, the people that don't play it, the people that don't even see it, that are holding the bag with, like, let's say, United States dollar as it goes down to nothing when people are all migrating to something else, you, you're left over, you're the last one who finds out 
you're you're fucked, bro. You could have spent your whole life trading your life, labor, sweat, and tears for those dollars. That paper, that's then worth nothing, you know. And that's just a shame. And, I, and the more people I understand this, the better, you know what I mean. But the truth of the matter is, somebody's gonna be last to migrate, no matter what, you know what I mean. So you, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. If you if you don't excel, you don't excel. I don't I don't know what to do for people. That's just the way the economy is. Like I said, I try to think of a way to like fix it to where it don't gotta be like that. And I put up, I try to think of some ideas like with different like different types of money, like a cryptocurrency that could have some type of like self-regulating supply to, you know, adjust with the demand so the valuation doesn't change. I've, I've been thinking, but I just haven't come up with it yet. I mean, I might, but right now I haven't, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should think about it more, you know. <laughs> I might come up with something like uh, where that works, where people can hold on to it and not have to mind it so much or have like a, uh, relatively stable value, you know, and uh, I haven't seen anything on the market. I've looked at a lot of these cryptocurrencies. I haven't seen anything that has that function that's truly stable. You know what I mean? You know, some of these claim that they're a little bit more stable, but truth be told, you know, I, I can tell that it's a supply and demand function. They're still just as, you know, uh, volatile and vulnerable to the migration process. Like I'm talking about, I haven't seen anything that's like truly stable, you know, and I think there's certain parameters you can put on that really might you know be like at least better than anything i've seen you know uh and even then if i create something that is good like that it still might be able to be improved upon so you know and i think that's something everybody should keep looking for look for ways to create some type of stable currency of some sort or or anything like that you know people should be creative and, and think of different ways to improve our economic system with anything, you know, you could come up with a business idea, or just you know, different government regulations you think might work and stuff like that. Just, just be creative, think of how the system works, and look for improvements that we can, uh, you know, kind of implement. You know, and uh, just think creatively. That, that's what I'm trying to inspire people to do uh, as well. And uh, because, because there's people can think, you know, and when people actually try to think, good ideas come. And when good ideas come, good things happen. You know, if they implement those ideas so you know I, I suggest everybody try to think of new ideas new ways to make things better chances are you'll figure something out chances are if it's a good idea people will say okay that's a great idea let's do it boom world's better you know so go ahead take the time try to figure it out figure something out figure things out create new ideas new better ways to do things and uh you know more power to you and i'll probably be one of your first investors man i'll see what's happening over here i'll say oh <laughs> That's what a herd is gonna migrate right there. <laughs> let me let me jump on that boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, you know, more power to you. Um, that's something I also want to get into is like the startup world. I want to see people's idea. I want to help people with their ideas. Um, see what they're thinking, what they're trying to do. Try to help them get that going. And sh that you, I'll be the first on the boat with that. You know what I mean? That that's why I think that's such a uh, uh, a good thing to be in because you 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 can identify good ideas early on get on that boat early and, you know uh you know you'd be the first to migrate into that new found land you know and uh so yeah that's just that's just a little concept i want to explain it's relevant um it's super relevant it's like probably the most relevant concept in investing is is understanding that there's there's the disruptors and the disrupted but what you really are seeing is is a shift of the user base a migration that occurs that goes from this thing to that thing devaluation over here you know increase in valuation over here depreciation appreciation and if you just know how to move properly before you know kind of ahead of the curve ahead of the herd boy you'll be you'll be winning out here so ah, some people don't know how to play this game man i'm trying to give you the key i'm trying to tell people i'm trying to tell people and like i said you know i'll try to make up some type of cool stable coin thing of some sort can't make any promises. You know, there might be improvements here that I can't promise anything's going to be 100% stable. I don't even know. I mean, I, I like creatively thinking. I like solving problems. Um, so I guess I'll keep thinking about it. And we'll see what happens. So <laughs> I suggest everybody else go at it too. You know, you come up with the next big thing, you're the founder. You know, you'll be the next Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with all these big old businesses that change the world. Hold on to your equity equity you know goes crazy because you know everybody's migrating over to your, your team you know what i mean and you'll be on top bro so be smart be smart um with that being said i hope this inspires people 
hope it helps people, you know, make the right moves in this money game. And I hope, just do the best. I, I hope we can come up with something because everybody ain't gonna win when they're playing this game. It ain't gonna happen. So I hope there's something that people can just, you know, be a, make an honest living with, you know, go to work, make some money, hold it, and be do traditional saving or whatever. Because a lot of people, man, they ain't got time for that, bro. They're just trying to make an honest living, simple business, man. I understand that. It's an honest living. And, you know, no matter what, people playing this game is gonna be losers unless there is something stable like that. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Do good, be good people, help create solutions, make the world a better place. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.